So this is fertilized coastal. It's hard to get cows off of it. They want to be on here. This is one of the really basic. My dogs, they're special to me. You know, you got something more special, let me see it. That's pretty much what I go by is what I see. Otherwise, I'm hearing someone talk. So one of the things we do is we get them off of this fertilized crop so it can recover when they cut it again. But when you try to pull cattle off of high protein fertilized coastal, they don't want to move. So this is Charlie, it's a really good cow dog, Ruby and Rooster. Good guys, I love it. We'll just leave this open. These are younger dogs, but basically this is making what would be a hour long job into a five minute job. So basically what I've got my dog trained to do is to drive the cattle with me behind them. This is not rocket science. Leaving the horse behind is part of the training. There's a horse over there to the right. Like I said, I love to see other people's process, but this is just a thing I deal with. I'm already running late tonight. Need to get these cows off the coastal. You know, you'd be waiting a long time, wait for a storm to come to get them off this coastal. It is pretty interesting to them. So this is just a basic drive. Some of the cattle try to hang up. All we're saying is no, you don't get to hang up. Slow and easy. We need to stress the cattle, except for the ones that hold out. Good boy, Rooster. Easy! Easy! So when they go to the head like that, Rooster! Get behind! Hey! Charlie! We don't want them getting on the head. Part of the problem with on the head is they don't move where you want them to go. So this is, I don't know, you can train cattle with cubes. I talked to a guy over at the cafe yesterday. He was talking like he was all badass and he's got them trained to feed and why does anybody have any problems with their cattle? And then he described his herd to me and it was 15 freaking head. You wanted to sit there at breakfast and say, okay, go sit at the little boy's table. 15 head in his backyard. Yeah, they come to cubes. He, apparently, the other guy that knew him sitting there says he really overfeeds. So anyway, like I said, I'm not saying I'm anything great or my dogs are anything great, but I am a cattleman. So what I really ask people to do is, if you're a cattleman, show what you do. Because the talk is out of control. I mean, it's just a lot of talk, a lot of videos of cattle being attacked in pens by dogs. That's just, that's not helpful. This is just a basic thing to the next pasture, the mesquite scrub. Cows don't want to go to the mesquite scrub. They want to stay in here, obviously. So the biggest thing for me is pushing through gates. So this is a gate. There's sort of a spoiled, stubborn one. We have a problem more with spoiled cattle than rank cattle. We got some I'm trying to get away without going in there. Let's go, Charlie. Get behind. Good boy, Charlie. 
good boy. So, paddle and walking and cubes and all that. I'll do a time on this video. It's pretty boring to watch, I know. Everybody wants to see a bunch of dogs attacking cattle in a pen or most of what we do is pretty boring. This, this girl right here is just loving the coastal. Good boy. Good boy, Charlie. Out. Ruby, out. Good dog. Good girl, Ruby. Charlie. Here. Ruby. Uh-uh. Once they go through the gate, it's over. Good job. To the next gate, they don't care. They... Good girl, Ruby. Charlie. Charlie. Good boy. Good boy, Charlie. And that's it. Out. Hey. No. Charlie. Do not go through that gate. So what I really want them to do is... Ah! You want them to... For me. For me. Hey, hey, hey. Charlie. Charlie, come here. For me, working cattle is all about moving them through gates. And the last gate is the pin. So, hey, Charlie, come here. So what I try to do is just train them to stay. Good, good dogs. Once they get them through the gate, the job is done. So the horse was left alone. That takes a little training. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. I get I get sick of listening to people to talk. Frankly, I, I just don't even want to hear any more of it. I run cattle. I fertilized this coastal two weeks ago. We had a little rain. We got a big rain coming. I want the cows off. Done. Don't mess with the horse. I don't know what happened to Rooster. He lost his spirit.